Your lawn has a lot of trapped potential that it just really needs you to come in and unlock it. Let me explain. If your lawn is a lot like mine, maybe you had some struggles this year. I had a lot of struggles in this general area, but because of those struggles, why? But because of those struggles, there are tufts of dead grass, like right over here. Some dead grass, some more dead grass. You see, a lot of this dead material that's just resting on your lawn, we end up pulling a lot of this stuff up during our fall overseed renovation time when we do our dethatching, when this stuff really isn't thatched. Now over time, as this stuff breaks down into the soil and it rests on the soil and it's not broken down in the soil for food, it does turn into thatch along with like old roots and all this kind of stuff. But when you do your dethatching in the fall, you're really just power raking essentially. That's why it's really called, a, the machines you get are called power rakes. And that stuff's just taken up all that dead material that's died over the course of the season and maybe anything that was left over after last season and just scooping them to piles and you're taking those piles and you're either putting them in your compost or you're throwing it out on the side of the yard for your bulk pickup or taking it to a landfill or whatever the case may be. And if that's what you want to do with all the dead material that's sitting in your yard, that's completely fine, and some people have more dead material than others, obviously. I went through a bout of dealing with fungus in the yard, so I have quite a bit of dead material this year. So I have the choice of either getting all that stuff out of here and throwing it in a landfill, or I can apply this. This is Dethatch, Liquid Thatch Digester. Let me say this real quick about Dethatch before it's mentioned in the comments. This is not a one-time cures-all. When it comes to your dead grass that is freshly dead from this season, it's not gonna break it all down right away. It'll take several applications and consistent applications to get that process really rolling. But this stuff works best for the actual thatch layer that's in your ground because that is decomposing material. Old dead grass, dead roots, that kind of stuff that's been sort of trapped and, and shielded from your wonderful turf. So when is the best time to apply dethatch? Really, any time during the active growing season, especially in the warmer months. Those hot temperatures help dethatch break down that dead material faster. And you can use this all the way up until seeding time. Now ideally, I would have done this a long time ago, especially after I did that video about um, helping your lawn recover from fungus. I should have been putting dethatch down at that time. However, I got busy, so I haven't. So now I'm trying to play catch up. But let me tell you what I'm about to do. And if you're in that same boat, you can copy along or go at your own pace. You can apply dethatch at really anything under six ounces per thousand, but six ounces per thousand is the go-to rate. And that's six ounces per 1,000 square feet or six ounces per one gallon of water. Now you don't want to exceed nine ounces per thousand as that's the max maximum rate, but because I only have about six weeks until I do my fall overseed, I want to go ahead and apply this at those nine ounces per thousand, and I'm going to do that every two weeks. That means I'm going to be doing three applications of dethatch between now and the end of September. Two of those applications are gonna go along with my BioStim applications, which actually Dethatch is a great addition to the BioStim pack if you're looking to get a little bit extra oomph out of it. So what can you expect from your lawn after applying Dethatch? In reality, you're not gonna notice a whole lot. You will start to see a color bump because what is going on behind the scenes or under the surface, if you will, is the molasses in the dethatch is feeding the microbes in the soil, in that dead decaying material. And by feeding those microbes, they become more active and they will start to eat that dead material and break that stuff down a lot faster. Similar to a compost pile. If you know compost, compost is just a bunch of microbes in that material and it's just sort of eating all that stuff that you're feeding it. Well, in the lawn, there's not as much stuff to feed on, so giving it food, which is the molasses, is gonna help that stuff work faster and start to break down that material. 
then the humic acid that's in dethatch helps unlock any trapped nutrients in the soil. So all this new nutrients that is now being found in the soil, the good existing turf is gonna absorb it. You'll get a color bump, you'll get a health bump, and just a good overall healthy appearance in the lawn. Now, one thing, you do not have to water in dethatch. Dethatch can sit on your lawn because it needs to sit there because there's nothing to water in. It doesn't need to get down into the soil because all the material that the dethatch needs is on the top of the soil in that thatch layer. So do not water it in. You can go ahead and apply this in the middle of the day if you need to because the warm temperatures helps it work better. So don't water it in. It's safe to apply during the day, but if you absolutely are too nervous not to water something in, just give it 24 hours and then go ahead and water. So dethatch, it's not the showiest in the next line of products. It doesn't put on this big performance like green effect. You're not gonna get this nice dark deep green lawn out of it, but it does do something that not many things can do and that's affect the thatch layer of your lawn. Now if you go rent an actual professional dethatching machine, that makes a dent in your thatch layer. Your typical Sunjo or Green Machine, Greenworks or whatever, those machines more just rake up the dead material from that year, but doesn't really affect the thatch layer. Dethatch does affect that thatch layer, unlocks those trapped nutrients, and helps with just a better overall healthy lawn. So if you haven't really thought that much of dethatch, go ahead and give it a thought. Give it a gander. You know, why not? What could it hurt? It couldn't. We'll see you in the next video. That ragweed just sort of pops up overnight.